Hello everyone, Sean Davis here for the Raptors Nation, your home for related to the Toronto Raptors. Your Raptors are unfortunately eliminated from the NBA playoffs. They would lose the series to the Philadelphia 76ers in six games. Nick Nurse just did his ex-interview, or he had had a post-conference rather, and he had some very interesting nibbits and bites, which could tell us how the Raptors are going to build this team going forward. But a quick reminder, guys, please do subscribe to the Raptors Nation YouTube channel. And hit that post notification bell so you never miss a video. It's going to be a busy offseason for the Raptors and see how they can retool and try to get back to competing for an NBA championship next season. So you're going to want to stay here. Stay tuned to subscribe to the Raptors Nation YouTube channel. So let's first start off with, you know, I guess just addressing the elephant in the room. Obviously, there have been heavy rumors that your head, the head coach, Nick Nurse, has been included in Lakers head coaching talks. The Lakers are having their head coaching vacancy spot up right now. And Nick Nurse, he just put it all to bed right now. He said this on a report to the Lakers interest in him. He said, I don't know where that stuff come from. And I'm focused on coaching this team. So Nick and Nurse obviously deflecting, saying, nope, I'm here for the long call. I am not interested in that job. And I'm not surprised he said that. I think that's the right thing Nick Nurse said there. And I, I think just not drawing any attention to the situation is the right way to go there. Now, Nick Nurse, we kind of see a little bit more behind the scenes to some of the roster building that the Raptors may go into heading into next season. He had a very interesting response here. Uh, paraphrasing, of course, but he, this could lead us to know how the Raptors could build and shape this team going forward. He says this, uh, that the top priority for the Raptors this offseason should be adding depth around their core and says that they could use another catch and shoot present and more athletic wing players to continue playing the way that they want to play. Now, uh, I, I hate to sound like a broken record, but it, it's so easy that it's hard to compete in the NBA nowadays because nowadays you just need good shooters and guys that can defend. That's all you need to compete at the highest level in the NBA as a team. And the Raptors get that. The Raptors organization, Masai Ujiri, Nick Nurse, the rest of that organization, they understand that if we want to win and compete, we got to have guys that can shoot and play defense. But on to kind of the roster building thing, and I think that ties into another thing here, is when he's talking about Fred Van Vliet. In managing his minutes, obviously, for Emily, he announced himself in his exit interview that he was really battling with a sore knee, that he got banged up against the Pelicans right before the All-Star break, and obviously the hip strain in Game 2. Game 3, I'm sorry. Game No, Game 4, my bad, guys. Game 4 of the Raptor 76er series. Um, he said that it would be advisable, Nick Nurse said it would be advisable uh, that they would like to get Fred Van Vliet's minutes down to 35, 36 just minutes rather than the high 30s where he's normally playing like 38, 39 minutes. It's always easier said than done. He also thinks that Scotty's and Pascal's growth as playmaker should help take some toll off of Fred Van Vliet. Now, obviously, I think you can see the wear and tear on Fred's body having a lot of the uh, playmaking and ball dominant responsibilities thrown onto him this season. He had a great year. Yeah, all-star caliber season from Fred Van Vliet. And I think that the Raptors, their plans are surrounding him going forward. But the reason why I want to bring this up is because I think what the Raptors, and specifically the last comment we just addressed from head coach Rick Nurse, is that the Raptors might actually be in the market to look for a backup point guard. Looking for a guard that can take some of the load off of Fred Van Vliet, but that can still contribute and run the offense while not compromising any of the core principles that the Raptors have been, you know, displaying over recent years. Again, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, he, he raved about Pascal Siakam as well in this interview. But Pascal Siakam, Scotty Barnes, OJ and Gary Trent Jr., Fred Van Vliet, you have your core right there. of presses that you have a few bench guys as well, but you have your core. Now it's just about getting other wing guys that can shoot and play defense and maybe, just maybe, Find another guard that can kind of help handle the load just a little bit so that Fred can get a break and get him down to the 34, 35, 36 minute range instead of playing upwards near the 40 minutes a night. But Raptors Nation, comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the Raptors should be in, in looking for a backup point guard? What do you guys think about the season as a whole? Was it a success or was it a failure? Comment down below. Once again, guys, please subscribe and hit that post notification bell here to the Raptors Nation YouTube channel. Till next time, guys. Sean Davis here. See ya. And stay safe.